Okay. So we're talking today about grooming rabbits. And for rabbits who shed profusely, this is super important. Most rabbits shed really heavily about three times a year. Some rabbits seem to never stop shedding. But most rabbits will have defined shed periods where you'll actually see a pattern on their back as the shed moves toward one end of the rabbit or the other. Um, when the rabbit starts shedding, copious amounts of hair will be coming out. And the rabbit is naturally going to groom himself and ingest hair. There's always hair in a rabbit's stomach, so don't feel that you have to avoid getting any hair in the rabbit's stomach. You won't be able to. But if you can lighten the load a bit by good grooming, that really helps. And this is the kind of comb that I use. It's like a, um, I believe it's called a flea comb. There's a variation of this comb made that actually has a red rubber thread running through it to help collect hair that way. Some people use a brush. It doesn't really matter what you use as long as your rabbit will tolerate it enough to allow you to do a good job. So this rabbit, little bean, is shedding and you'll notice, excuse me, with a shed pattern, when a rabbit is shedding like this, you can actually pluck him. You can take hair Some out Some rabbits like this. don't like it when you pluck them. Most rabbits don't like it, and, but you may have to do it once in a while because there's so much hair that you won't even be able to get the comb through it efficiently if you don't remove the tufts that are sticking out. So this is what I just took off of this rabbit. And now Amy's going to groom him uh, with the comb, see what comes well, out there. Well, I and actually also use, this. it's for, uh, it's a human, it's for like your eyebrows. Yeah. But you can see that the comb is really thin like Very this. Very fine, yeah. And I, you know, that's what I do when I get the cheeks. I just go under the eye to make sure, you know, I get all her, the sand, you know, off her And this is great if your rabbits have runny eyes at all and there's a yeah. little bit of a stain pattern under the eye, this fine comb will kind of open up the hairs and allow that skin to breathe again, yeah. which is or really good. Yeah, or I do good. like their ears, it's a little bit like that. But this one, yeah, I, I don't, I, I never use it. Show oh, me I'll how show you, you. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let me, excuse me, little bean, may I have you? What a good boy. What a good And boy. speaking of grooming now, I want to talk to you about cleaning. Um, you never, you don't need to give your rabbit a bath ever, correct? No, we're going to do, I think we're going to do a separate talk just on baths. Okay. But no, that's a good question for grooming. Rabbits bathe themselves. They're like cats. They're prodigious self-groomers, and they will keep themselves immaculately clean given half the chance. So you do not need to do that for your rabbit. And we're just showing you today. So you're going, you're not going against the hair, you're going I'm down. not, some like, people like to go against the hair and if the rabbit tolerates it, there, you see he's turning around, he doesn't like that as uh -huh. much. But if he tolerates it, the idea is just to do the best Ooh, you can. You'll Lord. get wads of hair out like that in a flea comb. You can make candles, you can mix that you with wax and make a hair candle. You can stuff cushions with this oh, stuff, yeah, sure. absolutely. And knowing you, you probably do, right? Sure not. <laughs> this is my rabbit cushion. There you go. Okay. Yeah, the so, less hair they have to swallow, the better. Because they can slow down their gut, right? Absolutely, so. yep. You and can two-timer, look. Yep. Two-way. Look at that. There. And grooming on to uh, uh, top of the tail is an important area because it's not easy for them to reach back there and you'll get out a good amount of hair. Doing yeah, especially that. if they're old or they're obese and they can't, that's why you don't want a fat rabbit is they can't really do the reach around. Exactly. Right? If there's anything impeding their ability to move around, they won't be able to groom themselves properly. So this is really important. Another aspect of grooming, grooming that a lot of people emphasize, which I personally don't, is, is cleaning their scent glands. Some people consider that a very important part of grooming. Scent glands, see if he'll let us take a look at his scent glands. Scent glands are very hard to see unless you open them, but it's a pair of glands where my thumb and forefinger are wow. on either side of the genital area. There are open slits in the skin. And when you open up the little slits, you'll find a waxy substance in there. It's kind of dark color, black or brown. And it smells like a, like a cross between skunk and coffee, which mm. is really funny. But it does. And a lot of people dig around in there with Q-tips and they try to get the wax out. I'm one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it people. So I tend to check the scent glands and make sure that there's no uh, obstruction there. And male and there. female rabbits both have They both scent have glands? them. They both have okay. them, yeah. And, and as I said, some people like to clean them. I don't do that unless the rabbit has a problem. I let the rabbit clean his own scent glands. But that is, that is part of grooming for some people. Okay. So I'm going to put him down here and call it a day for him. Okay. That's grooming 101. Grooming and you can spend half an hour doing this and the rabbit will absolutely love you for it. They really, they feel really good. However, half an hour later, you know what happens. What? You see tufts all over the rabbit oh, again. Yeah, it's sure. like it never, <laughs> stops. never stops. You can pull <laughs> them out and it just never stops. And then you think, <laughs> oh, I didn't do a good job. You did a good job. It's just the rabbit is shedding. His body is trying to get rid of the hair and he's going to get rid of it as fast as he can. So now that we have hair on our clothing yeah, and our mouths and our ears and our eyes, that's the end of grooming. <laughs> Thank you.